Okay, a quick note about protective filters. Okay, there's only two I recommend. Uh, one would be the Hoya HMC, stands for Hoya Multicoat. That's just their BS slang for saying anti reflective coating. That is crystalline deposited the coating, uh, it's vacuum sputtered inside a vacuum chamber. HMC, every little filter and lens company has their own BS terminology for anti-reflective vacuum deposited crystalline coating. For Hoi, they call it HMC. It's all the same crap. Well, there are various gradations. Some of them actually layer it, and uh, there are uh, different uh, mineral composition. It's actually a crystalline coating that's both on the lens and on the filter. Um, so there are actual different compounds that are used and certain secret processes that are used, but it's all the same crap. Um, only two filters. You know, this is not about UV protection. UV protection, obviously, you know, your, your sensors, uh, your digital sensors, uh, you know, have nothing to do with UV filters. So I'm not recommending a UV filter for the sake of UV, but since UV filters have no bearing on digital sensors, we're talking about prophylaxis. We're talking about pure protection. Uh, number one filter would be a Hoya HMC if you want to go the awesome yet cheap route. Never buy them on eBay from China. Okay, because all of those are pla a lot of most all of them are plastic. They're not real. Fake Hoya filters are ridiculous. It's like fake uh, expensive coach bags. You know, they're all like made in Mexico and China. <laughs> so never, never get a really cheap Hoya HMC on eBay from China. It's like, oh my God, that's a cheap price. Let me buy it. And it turns out it's plastic. Um, so get a genuine Hoya HMC, typically about 25 bucks, which is awesome. If you want to go the super awesome route, um, even though I'm not a fan of B&W's Plain Jane filters, they're F-Pros, which will run you about $60 and up. The B&W F-Pros are made in Germany. That's the exquisite route to go, so get yourself a B&W like I have on this 105mm. So it's a B&W F-Pro, F hyphen Pro. So 60 bucks and up depending on the size of the filter. Or uh, This is also an AR coated uh, filter anti-reflective coating filter. Uh, B&W has their own BS lexicon for the AR coating. It's ridiculous. Uh, HMC, there's, there's, it's like people talk about vibration control. I mean, there's vibration control and optical stabilization and there's a vibration control from Tamron. It's all the same crap, slightly different technologies. Same premise, okay? People get confused and of course you gotta blame the lens and filter manufacturers for that crap, so. Once again, it's not about UV protection, it's about prophylaxis. Changing out this $50 filter is a lot easier than changing out this $1,200 lens. Mm. <laughs> so, I hope I made that abundantly clear. And, uh, there's something else I was going to come on, Tom, but I forgot. Maybe after I drink some more ca caffeine, I will remember. Oh, remember from the prior video? that uh, after mass exhaustive testing this is the number one bokeh slut lens it edges out the 135 it edges out my 85 millimeter carl zeiss uh, planar 85 millimeter 1.4 it edges out my carl zeiss uh, macro planar 100 millimeter f2 i'll be reviewing those later this week um, this lens is 1200 dollars typically finer for sub 800 dollars used sometimes cheap as uh, $700, $700, $800, right around there, used. Uh, so this is the uh, King Boca Slut. I did a great deal of empirical testing over the past few days, and that is that. It edged out the 135 DC, it edged out the 85mm f1.4, and it edged out the macro planar, I mean the, uh, excuse me, the, the Carl Zeiss uh, planar 85mm uh, f2. Here we go. I need more caffeine. Let me go grab some. And I am filming this crazy video on an Icon D750 with a Voigtlander 28mm. Hoorah! <laughs>